coming up on this episode of The Village Idiom. Or whatever. Sure. Uh, the Rock was kidnapped by a gang of... Oh, I thought you were going to say I was kidna- kidnapped by The Rock. No, so you can also insert a name so that there's more substance to he build. He locked me in a room. I don't know where he went, but I could smell what he was cooking. <laughs> dum, dum, da, da, village Idiom. Hello and welcome to The Village Idiom. We are a podcast that every week we choose a popular saying to take an admittedly shallow, hopefully comedic, Mm. once in a while interesting, and if we're super duper 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 lucky, educational dive Mm. into its meaning, its usage, its origins, but mostly we're going to use it to hang our otherwise directionless conversation on. Mm. My name is Jurassic Mark. I am skinny. I'm I'm just trying to affirm you right now. How'd you think? I came in. I came in like strong, right? Yeah, you had a really strong game going on right now. Like it's been weeks. Like it's like over the top. Like it's articulate. It's exciting. I felt felt the muscle. I felt like like a force. Yeah, there was something special that just happened right now. I don't know if you can feel that over the uh, the uh, podcast airwaves, uh, illegitimate children, but you just you just participated in something almost spiritual. <laughs> you might say that I, I. Oh, come on! Boy, that went like gangbusters in there. You might say it went like gangbusters. It did go like gangbusters. Man, if only the cue. I could go back and edit it. That 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 oh, clip came in right on time. You know, we we appreciate we authenticity. We don't do that kind of stuff. No, we don't edit. <laughs> That's, that's that's a it's it's not authentic. There's there's been what five edits in in three years. It's usually something's gone horribly off the rails. Yeah, we we need to like a po- power failure or something. <laughs> but whatever, like gangbusters. You like gangbusters? That that is the idiom du jour, gangbusters. Gangbusters. And I learned a little bit going through the research of this. We'll get into that. I in, didn't in find a short... out anything. That's good. But that's, I did, that's your role. I did come across. You just got to know your role and stay in your lane. And my lane is 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 the idiot lane to learn things. Maybe we should call this the the idiot in the idiom. That's hard to say. That's why we didn't call it that. It's hard. The idiot in the idiom. Say that. The idiot and the idiom. No, faster. The idiot and the idiom. Okay, never mind. It's just me. <laughs> but I did come across these 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 things, which uh, uh, as a phrase, I think this could catch on. As a gangbusters, as, it's already a as phrase. a genre of of joke. Okay. So this, this is okay. So the whole premise is, I was kidnapped by a gang of, and then you just start filling in the pieces. Okay. So, so I, give me give me an example. Okay. I was kidnapped by a gang of mimes. They did unspeakable things. <laughs> okay, I see what you're saying. And so you begin it with, I was kidnapped by a gang of, or. Uh, also, you can insert a name, like... I, I, I'll, a celebrity or whatever. Sure. Uh, the Rock was kidnapped by a gang of... Oh, I thought you were going to say, I was kidna- kidnapped by The Rock. No, so you can also insert a name so that there's more substance to he build. He locked me in a room. I don't know where he went, but I could smell what he was cooking. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Exactly. See, that's just off the cuff. <laughs> Like, you didn't even need anything. It's the beginning of a joke. It's the beginning of these gang jokes. And so I I did come up with a couple uh, to see if they would... Yeah, uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Sting was kidnapped by a gang last night. The police are looking for a lead. (laughs) Okay. 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 Did you write that one? No. uh, Because that's looking for a lead, a lead singer. Yes. No. It's it's from a. It's from a completely different joke. Wow. Yeah. That was a good one. (laughs) Just modified it to to fit the genre. Okay. You know, it's the like what's black and white and red all over, and then you insert some terrible thing or frog in the blender. Oh no, that's not black and white. Sure. There's something like that. Green and red and goes thousand miles an hour. I got mugged yesterday. I was kidnapped yesterday by a gang of dwarves. Not happy. I got... Oh. <laughs> I was kidnapped yesterday by a gang of six dwarves. I thought you were going using the word mugged, but you course corrected. I was kidnapped. Okay. Because I was thinking mug, coffee mug, like where's oh, this I going? See. Oh, see? You're just expanding the joke. So uh, I like it. Okay. So X was kidnapped by Y... In, and then insert. I was kidnapped by a group of dwarves. Not happy. <laughs> I was kidnapped by a group of six dwarves. Not happy. Okay. Uh, and uh, the, the final one I have prepared, unless you, you something comes to you. I was kidna- kidnapped by a group of Christmas carolers. They were singing Away with a Stranger. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's not good. 
So it's not good, but yeah, I, no, think it, it's I think good. it's got the premise of a great series. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I was kidnapped like, by my, my brain is okay. Is, I'm looking around the room. I was kidnapped by Weird Al, and then we got to fill in the rest real quick, like, off the top. Uh, that's t- that's a toughie. Like, what do you like? The only thing coming to mind is like a surgeon. Um, I don't know. He, I don't know. He poked me. He left me in a bathtub filled with ice. Took my kidney, like a surgeon. That's a long way to get to the punchline, though. <laughs> so, with a little work, you see at least the premise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kidnapped by a, di- a group of dinosaurs. I was their velociraptor. <laughs> see? Okay, oh no, they were. I was captive. Shoot. See, that's just. It was. Awful. It was a group of velociraptors. <laughs> That's amazing. And that's just off the top of your head. If we had time to actually think about them. That's good. Okay. Yeah. I got it. So anyways, just uh, throw that in. Legitimate children, if you come up with uh, uh, something that I was kidnapped by a, a gang of... I was kidnapped by... A uh, gang. See, see, it's, it's gang related. I was kidnapped right, by a gang, a gang of, of... Brad Pitts. <laughs> okay. They made, <laughs> they made me write my parents a handsome note. <laughs> okay. Again, not good, but it had the makings off, of off something. The cuff. It was off the cuff. I should have quit while I was ahead. Velocicaptor. <laughs> I was kidnapped by a gang, or X was kidnapped by a gang of Y. So anyways, illegitimate children, yeah, if, if one of those comes to mind, we would love to hear from you, and uh, we'll fire a sticker your way for an, an amazing... Any I was kidnapped by I, jokes. I was kidnapped by... <laughs> yeah, we can string these together. Anyway, I guess we should have said uh, coming in like gangbusters means to be very successful or to perform exceptionally well or to or to, to, to sort of enter with force like, oh, wow, you came in like gangbusters. But it us- it could be about anything like the real estate market was going gangbusters. So right. that is how the idiom is used right. it, to to reinforce a, some exceptional force or success, that kind of thing. The Village Idiom podcast was tore into the Christmas presents like gangbusters. It was being listened to like gangbusters. Like gangbusters. Servers crashing. Gangbusters. Came in like Ghostbusters. Oh, that's that's different. Different. Busting gangs. Busting gangs. Which, without any. Uh, I, That'd be a good I rap name. I didn't find Buster any. Buster Gang. Buster Gang? Buster Gang. If. <laughs> if there has to be in my mind in your some, mind. some relation to gang busting, uh, as in Elliot Ness. Oh, you're like guessing on the origin right now. I, I'm I'm just throwing it out there that busting uh, gangs. If you're a gang buster, it seems clear that you're part of the well then the unit that does such then things. Then you might like this gang game that I have for you. You have a gang game. <laughs> Where you have to guess where this idiom comes from. Okay. I'll give you three choices. One of them is correct. Okay. Number one. Comes from a 1930s radio show called Gangbusters. <laughs> the 30s. Now, is that pretty close to Prohibition era? Uh, oh, man. I'd have, to, okay. I'd have to Wikipedia that. Or does it come from the 1890s influx of brothels in the New America? Or number three. The 1900s introduction of bronco riding. Oh man, these are good. So one 1930s radio show actually called Gangbusters. Two 1890s influx of brothels in in the New America, or three 1900s introduction of bronco riding. Those are your choices. You're gonna okay, have to select so one. I'm thinking that there is definite 30s prohibition, and it makes sense to have a radio show from the 30s called Gangbusters. But I don't like it. I think it's it's too. I think you do know that prohibition happened somewhere in there. Yeah, and you're messing with me. I'm going with the horse. The Break, breaking bronco up, riding. Bronco riding. Well, it's only, so random. There's only one way to find out. I said some words. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? No one can know. I turned around and looked behind. Those words came from another mind. Origins. Well. Before I even get into the introductions, I'd like you to listen to this. Oh, no. Jones Liniment presents Gangbusters. Shoot. Guess what? It's a radio show. (laughs) It's a radio show from the 30s. I thought you were being 
put something together that was hyper clever. So the original idiom was actually come on like gangbusters, which means Where something they- that comes in with a lot of energy, excitement, enthusiasm, at, because uh, imagine a, a radio in your home being the only form of entertainment, no TV, no, well, I guess there, no, there wouldn't have been any theaters, there'd be oh, live shows or radio. Sure. And so after, you know, Lawrence Welk or whatever was just playing, all of a sudden it's like... <laughs> sirens and guns and so it became a thing like like you probably had your radio cranked because of the classical music that was playing right before gangbusters comes on so the phrase was the kids come flying into the room like whoa you came on like gangbusters Hmm. because that was how abrupt that radio show it segued harshly yeah it segues harshly that's great that should be a t-shirt right there i segue harshly harshly. (laughs) so you're kidnapped by a gang of segues i was kidnapped by a gang of segues they seem particularly unbalanced. <laughs> Today, like gangbusters is uh, what we usually say. So it's more generally describes anything, like we said earlier, with a lot of energy, enthusiasm, noise, speed, excitement. Uh, if we say something is selling like gangbusters, we mean it's selling like hotcakes, which is just another <laughs> idiom. Because <laughs> those sell in our right. day and age. I know. I guess that I need to add Outside that to of, those selling like hotcakes. Do you... Is that a thing where you would go out to a restaurant and like I hop and get a stack of pancakes? Or you're like, if I can make it at home, I don't buy it at a restaurant. Hmm. I would ask for a gang of hot hotcakes. Hmm. I'll get a sack sack of hotcakes. <laughs> We've done that. <laughs> done something like that. So even though hotcakes has to do with the rapidity of selling stuff, gangbusters is a little bit different. Has a connotation of like. Uh, enthusiasm and excitement yeah. not just it's going speed. gangbusters yeah the, the the sales these sales are going like gangbusters exactly so you heard the intro to the radio show uh i didn't listen to a whole episode but they are out there to find on youtube and whatnot think do you remember dragnet not the movie but there was a tv show yep. um i think that was get smart okay I, my name is friday you know that one? Sam Friday. Uh, drag, it was like that, like radio crime drama. I think you and I were in a radio play together at one point. A radio play? A radio play. Are uh, we in one now? <laughs> in the simulation, we're in a radio play. No, I think... You're the Foley? <laughs> the, no, you're in a radio play. Okay. At least I, I, I was part of the sound effects, the live sound effects people. Um, this is not ringing any bells. Was it radio or was it a no, live it was a live. to it watch? Was, it was a live to watch okay, play. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, my section of the area was, I was in sound effects. I, I was remember fully. that. I may not have actually been in that, but mm. I remember watching you run around, sweating, getting it all done. Like yeah, you had smashing e- bottles. extreme, yeah, you, you guys went all out just yeah, to be fun. the fully. It was amazing. Especially when you're watching it live. So, yeah, as simple as it is. Uh, like gangbusters comes from coming on like gangbusters, well, how would it which be, is how would the they radio describe show? the rate at which Elliot Ness was putting people in prison? Like that, gangbusters? Was he gangbusting like gangbusters? Yeah, that's I that, guess that's so. an inception of gangbusting. Yeah, huh. huh? Fascinating. I don't think I could. I think gangs back then, as dangerous as gangs have always been, gangs now seem like it's a whole different level. Like somehow, as scary as the you know Italian mafia may seem in movies, uh, gang warfare now seems like next level. Like there's there's kind of different tiers. I mean, I'm obviously just going by movies and news, but there's like kind of the street gangs. Um, like when they're like, it's not just snapping their fingers. <laughs> no West Side Story coming at you anymore. No, that's that's done. They've ramped up. And then there's like way beyond finger snapping. Like, like I don't know, the more organized ones that you actually are aware of. I, I'm not saying any names because I'm, I'm not aware. Of I don't any. want to find a horse in my bed. But uh, I don't know. It it seems like it's worse, and I'm sure it's even more worse in other well, countries. Some people but. see the cup as half empty. <laughs> You think the gang life is getting better? Well, it's it seems appealing to people. They must enjoy it. Huh. That's one way to look at it. There must be they some just need just, friends. They need family. If you're just looking. It fills a, it fills a need. It, well, society is just so pulled apart. And so a way 
that I find it's possible to get to know some people. It's just jo- It's join a gang. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Family solved. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Family is solved. We should like hello, like a hello fresh. Like hello fresh. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Today's sponsored by. I'm not even going to say the name of a gang because there's too many real ones out there that you could rattle off and be like, somebody's going to hashtag it. And what are these two <laughs> old white guys? What are they talking about? We don't know what we're talking. We about. We don't know. That doesn't stop us. Who anyway. would you say is your gang? Your family? Your friends? Like our gang? Like thank, like, thank you, Alpha. Yeah. That's my gang. That's your gang. That's what that's the age of my. Gang. That's our gang. <laughs> Who is my gang? I don't know. I got a group. You're in my gang. I'm in your gang. We're in gangs. Like who's, have, who's following who? We have a secret. Well, it's kind of like a, like a, just a mutually agreed upon thing. Huh. We normally don't do this, but let's sh- let's show them right now our, our secret handshake. Handshake or gang signs? <laughs> our, our, our handshake. All right. The secret. You gotta go up high for the camera. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't often show that it. That makes for good audio right there. <laughs> We don't often. We should have been narrating it like thumb to the nose, elbows touch, behind the back, spin around oh, once. We don't like to do it too much. Then people start imitating. It's like art. It, we should we should work on one though, and I, I think we should somehow include like got change for a dollar and like this exchanging of coins and paper money and. and <laughs> it could be. Why not? It's well, as good as any yeah, other. Yeah, but it can't be too elaborate. No. Because then people will just like catch on. They'll start what would make our fun gang of it. name be? They'll make fun of it. Is it just the village idiom, or do we have something cooler than that? No, we're like bigger than that. We're like a <laughs> oh, c- we're bigger idiom. than the village idiom we're podcast. Are idiom. you out of your country mind? Country idiom or something? That is the village. It takes oh, a I village. See. I see what you it mean. takes a village idiom. A village, yeah. We're we're metropolis idiom. Yeah, for sure. The M I M I two because it's just the two of us. I think right now. <laughs> And the producer. M- MV. Oh, MV. MVS. MV us. <gasps> it's MV us. <laughs> Are you all envious? Envious? Are you envious of us? Well. Okay. Wow. There's not a lot a to be. <laughs> five, five minutes gone, wasted right there. <laughs> Those conversations we did are come, more reflective we did of our come real in life. like gangbusters, but in the middle, <laughs> it's more like Golden Girls. Well. <laughs> on a ramble. Well, that was an exciting uh, idiom du jour. We should probably wrap this baby up. Wrap the baby up. Let's mm. wrap this baby up. Like swaddle we it? We should swaddle that baby. Here, here's one more. Swaddle that baby. Little Knight Rider. You ready for this? How did that come across? Like gangbusters. Yeah. Michael Knight. <laughs> David Hasselhoff. The Hoff. The Hoff. <laughs> well, before you turn this M. Hoff, uh, we should probably do the Riddle Links. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Riddle Link is a game we like to play. It takes a two-part trivia-based question. requires a two-part overlapping answer, overlapping by syllable or word or words. So, for example, if you don't mind me giving you one, last week during our episode... What, what was the idiom last week? Do you remember off the top of your head? Nope. I never uh, looked back. Fall between the cracks. Nice. Right. Fall between the cracks was the idiom last week, and we left you with, Your haughtiness will be your demise as you forget about some things. Your haughtiness will be your demise as you forget about some things. Did you get that one? No. Your haughtiness. Like me. <laughs> I'm your haughtiness. <laughs> That's a different. H A U. Oh, oh, oh. What is haughty? If you're haughty, you're like arrogant. Yeah, proud. Pride. Pride comes before the fall of j- the giants. Between. Of the fall of the cracks. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Pride comes before the fall between the cracks. So okay. it's not just pride comes before the fall. It's not just I gotta be truthful, fall I z- between the I cracks. I zoned out there for a second. <laughs> it's, I thought I saw your eyes. Did you see my eyes glaze over? The correct answer is pride comes before the fall between the cracks. And well, that, that is how you play Riddle. Well, I've got two prepared. I got two prepared. Let's, just, let's get into this. Hit it. They sang, celebrate good times, while the situation rapidly intensified on them. Say it again, but I've already got it. They sang, celebrate good times, while the situation rapidly intensified on them. That's Cool and the Gangbusters. Cool and the Gangbusters. Which is a way better Woo-hoo! name. <laughs> okay, here's mine. Sure. Great success is the free wooden tool for mixing your paint. What? Great success is the free wooden tool for mixing your paint. The legitimate children. Is that a gangbuster stick? <laughs> yep, that's it. Beautiful. I've got a third one. All right, hit me. Lil Lil Pump song about no. o- about overpriced handbags, <laughs> selling like pancakes. Oh 
man. Little pump song. Little pump song about overpriced handbags. I'm gonna. I'm gonna admit. Is selling like pan. Is selling like pancakes. I'm gonna admit to you right now. Never heard of Little Pump. You, you don't. You don't need to. Okay. Um, Little Pump song and about overpriced handbags. An okay. Overpriced handbag brand. Prada. Gotta. Lot of people stuff in is it. selling like pancakes. Yeah, I got the, the hotcakes part, but what, what's, what's that? The, it's selling like hotcakes. Selling like hotcakes. Yep. So Prada purses selling like hotcakes. No, there is no selling. It's the name of our idiom is in there. Oh, what? Gangbusters. Lil Pump song about overpriced handbags is selling like pancakes. Okay. Like I'll tell gang. you, it ends in gangbusters. Yeah. Gangbusters. Um, Overpriced handbags, other paraphernalia. Luxurious accessories, gangbusters. It's Gucci gangbusters. Yeah, I would have never got there. Gucci gang? No. Nope. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Nope. What? Never heard it. You're not up on the little pump? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> nope. Ah, we're sorry, little pump crowd. Oh, man. That is a disappointment. You know that our <laughs> audience crossover is enormous. Yeah. Yeah, if basically we share a Venn diagram. They might as well be two overlapping circles. <laughs> <laughs> well, illegitimate children, there is a fourth one coming, and you can answer it and send us uh, what you've got as that answer on Instagram at the dot village dot idiom or email us the village idiom podcast at gmail.com or whether it's the Facebooks, the YouTubes, or the Twitters at three minutes gone. Oh, is that me? All right, here's the last one. Goes a little something like this. In Elvis's song Jailhouse Rock, the whole rhythm section was what idiom for success? Hmm. In Elvis, in Elvis's song Jailhouse Rock, the whole rhythm section was what idiom for success? And that is three minutes gone. It I mean, is all you, day. You, you got me on this one. Yeah. You stumped me. I'm stumped. You don't know it? No. The whole rhythm section was the. Nope. Nope. I bet you'd sing along with it if the song was on. That's well, what I think. Well, it's fantastic. Uh, that'll give our illegitimate children a chance to uh, beat me to the punch, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Well, beat me to the punch. Have we done that one? I don't know. We should. We'll find out where that comes to from. The pen. It's probably uh, someone being beaten to, to the, a punch. The punch, <laughs> which is uh, exciting. You think it's beat somebody to the punch bowl, like spiking the punch bowl, or do you think it's beat someone? No, like we're talking about like day. punching someone repeatedly. Like beating them to the punch. Hmm. So strike first. Is, is strike hard? Is this like a Cobra Kai? I thing? think I might have <laughs> actually dipped into that. Well, anyways, it was fun putting it together for you. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I'm Skinny. I'm Jurassic Mark. And these? Are, <coughs> what's that? What? Is that? Excuse me. And these are the village idioms. Yo, wait, I'm showing how to get in the groove today. Last three minutes gone.